recording. Yes. Is anybody there? <laughs> morning good morning how are you good how are you i'm fine how was your summer uh it was okay yeah it's, it's over <laughs> saw emma yesterday did you okay yeah. i worked with her all summer so okay yeah yeah she's got two more weeks yeah. And then she's I, I, my last week was last week, so Yeah. Yeah. She's sad it's done, but she's uh she was uh she had a good time, I think. Yeah, it was fun this year. Yeah. Yeah. It was warm. She a lot you guys had a lot of hot days. Mm hmm So let's uh let's stall a minute, see if anybody else shows up. You know, who knows? It's, it could be, uh, this, this might be it. Let's see, I have to uh, see if anybody's in the waiting room. Okay, nope. All right, well, all right, so this is Biology 145, Human Biology, okay? There should be a textbook at the bookstore. You can, sometimes you can order online, all right? Um, there's also an ebook. If you want the ebook, I think the ebook is cheaper. Uh, I like a real book. You know, I, you know, I like to write, I like to flip pages, stuff like that. Um, let me share a screen. Uh, maybe. Okay, let's see here. Um, maybe it's this one. Okay, so I can't necessarily see what you guys can see, but it should be a Moodle page. Can you see that? Nope. No. Zoom. You, st you just see Zoom. Yeah. yeah. This, you don't see anything moving up and down right now? No. This is, okay, so you see this? Do you see the Zoom dialogue prompts? Maybe, maybe not. It says join a meeting. Okay. What about this? Can you see that? Let's stop the share. Hold on. Let me try again. Uh, how about this one? Now do you see Highland Community College Moodle? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, so I have a, you know, I just, I have, we have a weekly schedule. There's some materials for you to look at at the top, the course schedule, grades and policies, and a, a rubric, I'll, I'll show you those. But we also have the schedule, and so we're kind of organized by week. And so usually we're gonna cover about one chapter in the, in the book each week. Um, I will give you some reading hints for that. Um, That'll be like one page of vocabulary and some some summaries. Um, there'll be usually one or two short, short lectures, like five to 10 minutes. Um, 
I go fast in the lecture, but you can always pause it and back it up. I find if I make them long, people don't watch them. So I'm, I'll make it really short so that, uh, so that people can watch them and you can watch them quickly. Sometimes I'll put movies in here. Um, always be a quiz, okay? So that quiz will cover stuff on the readings and in the lecture. That quiz you can take as many times as you'd like. Um, it'll only record the highest grade. So if, if you score zero 30 times and one 10, it'll just record a 10. Um, so you can repeat the quiz. It, it won't tell you the correct answer. It'll just tell you out of 10 questions, you got eight, you know, and then so it's try again. There's also a forum. You get a grade on the forum as well. Um, and so I'm, I, I read the forums and I'll post them and I'll mark them on the grades, okay? Um, then let's go over the grading stuff. So here I've got to share a different screen. Um, where is it? Is it this one? Oh, man. Maybe it's not this one. No, it's not that one. Well, let's stop that one and go to a different one. <laughs> uh, maybe I can nope, do it this way. Maybe I can get to it through here. Okay, so I'm gonna go up. Uh, grades and policies. See the grading sheet yet? Maybe? No? That's yes. Yeah, we can. Okay, where it says assignment and points. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so each quiz is worth ten points. I'll count your fifteen best quizzes over the course of the semester. Um, the discussion forums are worth five points each. We'll probably do uh, again around fifteen of them. So this should be more like seventy-five points, and then the exams are points each for 200 points in a final exam. Okay, there's due dates on everything, on quizzes, on forums, on exams. Okay, and some things have time limits like the exams and the quizzes. Okay, um, the exams you'll only be able to take once, so it's a kind of one-time thing there. Um, you can work with somebody else on the quizzes and exams you have to work by yourself and we might have some proctoring software to do that uh, possibly zoom i'll just make sure you're working by yourself um the grading scale to get 90 percent of the points in a, 80 to 89 percent of b and then 68 to 79 is a c 60 to 67 is a D, and below that, uh, we hopefully won't have to talk about that. <laughs> okay, so so basically, if you do everything, it usually comes out pretty well, um, because a lot of the things have, um, you, you can do them over and just follow the directions. We will have a Zoom meeting once a week that's not graded. Uh, that Zoom meeting won't be more than 25 or 30 minutes. Uh, I have them set right now for Monday. I might move them to another day. Is there's since there's only four of you here, I think that maybe that's not a great day. But um, we could maybe move them uh, to an, to another day. Do you guys have any preferences? Do you have to be on campus at any place or any time? I, you know, I don't want them early because people don't like early meetings and stuff like that. But um, like to me, I was thinking more like on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Better? Same? I'm okay with that because I only have one class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. So let's, let's, I, I will probably move these to Tuesdays um, and probably about 11 a.m., something like that. Um, I, you, you know, I, I record these, but they're, they're just not really worth posting because it takes a lot of memory. A 30 minute meeting takes like a hundred megs. And so it, it I, I don't, I, I don't want to, I don't want to jam up the computer network. So I probably won't post these. Um, let's see, what else should I say here? Um, there's times when um, 
usually I, I'm looking at stuff every day, I'm, um, but I won't respond to emails over the weekend. So I'll do that Monday through Friday. If you email me between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., I'll probably get back to you that day. If you uh, email me at that night, I'll get back to you in the next morning, usually. Um, sometimes I screw up when I make the links or I forget to activate things. So if, if the most common complaint students have is I hit the quiz and it said something that it was wrong, or I, you know, I tried to use the Dropbox and it didn't work. And so then just email me and I, I can try and fix it. Um, if, if uh, um, sometimes I will have movies for you and they will, it might appear as this yellow box and you'll have to enter your, uh, your Highland number in there and your password and then it'll, it'll go through the library and it can let you look at the movie. So it, you have to kind of move the box up to, to see where you enter in your password and your, your Highland ID number. Uh, and so, so I'll put movies on there. Sometimes the link will just be to YouTube. And so, so those, those tend to work pretty well. Um, does anybody have any questions? No, no. Same way, have you guys taken an internet course before? No, one, okay, well, there's one, yes. Hannah, maybe? Yes, I've taken them before. Okay, all right. Okay, so, um, you know, it's it's a lot like in person. There, people have their kind of. This is what I do, and I do kind of the same thing every week. So every week there'll be this reading hints, read about a chapter, do a quiz, do a forum, uh, watch a little video or two or three, um, and so that that'll be what we do. Um, We'll have exams, and the exams will cover the same things that the quizzes do. It'll have similar but different questions. So they'll ask about the same type of stuff, but with a slightly different question. So um, you, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll be able to just kind of say, oh yeah, we, we studied that, here's the answer. Um, let's see, the exams will usually cover three or four chapters, okay? The first exam covers just the first chapter, because I just want to kind of give you some feedback on how it's going. And so um, the first chapter, we're going to take a couple weeks to do. Uh, and so it, it won't be, it won't be, normally we'll have chapters, exams on chapters like two, four, two, three, and four, or chapters eight, 11, and 13, but the first one is just on chapter one. Uh, and so we'll, we'll do go into chapter one in a little more depth. So this first section, the first week, I'm just covering the first 10 pages of chapter one. I'm going through kind of the, um, how humans fit into the natural world. I introduce science, but I don't get into the real details. Next week, we'll do more chapter one. There'll be more on how science works. And then towards the end of the week, we'll have our first exam. Okay, and that first exam, uh, I'll open that up and it'll be, um, it'll be Thursday, Friday of next week. And so you'll have to take it one of those two times. Um, and just to give you an idea of what it's like. Um, let's see. We're gonna cover things uh, in kind of sections. And so the first one is, first exam is really a section on science and introduction to human biology. The second section is, an introduction on chemistry and cells and how the human body functions called homeostasis. And then the third exam, we go into some organ systems like the nervous system and the endocrine system. And then we start going into reproduction, evolution, uh, DNA technology type things. And then we go into bigger and bigger picture things like human impact on the environment and human populations. So it's a, it's a broad picture of humans and biology and science. Um, and, and so um, a, a, a nice, good, good general education course. So it's, it's, it will you know, look at humans in a variety of different ways. Okay, do you guys have any questions? So when you do those lectures and stuff, does it go like in order for like chapter one, like the, this first week is like the first part of chapter one? Right, right. 
So and there's there's two little uh, two little lectures. One is kind of an introduction to the course, and the other one is is more on what's going on in the textbook. Um, and and so and because I make these short, sometimes there's going to be two or three of these um, that deal with it, a single chapter. Uh, I find that uh, it's easier to watch them in short bits. Uh, science books aren't meant to be read like novels where you just, you know, you sit down and you rip off a uh, hundred pages if it's a really good book. The science books aren't written like that. Um, you probably your best bet is to read a section, you know, to read to read a section or two like like the vaccine section um, or then to read um, two or three pages like through there and then just stop and then go to the refrigerator see if there's a good snack anywhere um, and then check the tv see what's on there and then then okay then i'm going to read the next section okay and then I'll, I'll i'll read like three pages and and then i'll go again look and see if anything's changed in the refrigerator um, it's just you know it's not it's not written with a plot you know there's no person you can identify with there's nobody you want to know what happens to or anything like that it's just if you if you try and read you know if you try and read three chapters of this it'll put you to sleep um, and so that's why you do it in small chunks uh, that's why the lectures are small because otherwise I'll put you to sleep um, and and um, you know maybe that's maybe if you have trouble sleeping that'll be the way to go is is to try and do a chapter at a time <laughs> or two chapters but you know small chunks uh look at it do the quiz go back to the book you know the the um, it's 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 one of those things doing little bits um okay anything else i hope that answered the question um should we like be taking our own notes as we read along or do, are you gonna like give us notes I won't give you notes. I, that's kind of the study guide. That's what that's for. Um, okay. And so at the reading hints section is, it, you know, kind of gives you some vocabulary words that I think are important. Okay. And, and then on the bottom of that, it'll say, um, you know, here are the main ideas and it, it doesn't list them in a lot of detail. So if you'd want to go through that and say more details, some people will, will, you know, they'll write notes on the, you know, they'll, as their goal, they'll, they'll underline and stuff like that, or they'll take separate notes. Those are great study techniques. I don't mandate that you use them. Um, you know, um, I know people sell their books back, but it's better to get an A and just keep it. <laughs> and so, so if you want to mark up the book, that's okay. Um, I you know, mine, so but, I rented oh, mine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mark, mark it up. You know, um, you're paying all this money for the course in the book. Um, if it helps you to write in the book, write in the book. Uh, it's not, they're not going to give you that, you know, the bookstore isn't going to give you that much back no matter what. They're, they're, they're out to make money. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what they do. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. So I'm going to reschedule some of those things on Tuesday. Uh, all the materials are available in uh, Moodle for this week and so you can go look at that. Um, I will generally have the first thing for next week will show up Thursday or Friday and it'll be that reading hints thing and then by Monday I'll have all the stuff for next week so that, that stuff will show up and you'll have a full week on it. The end of the first week we'll have our first exam. Okay all right email me if you have any questions. Um, because of the COVID, I'm not in my office as much as I was before. So if you phone call me, I get a, I get a, you know, I get a, a light that comes on, but I'm here less. Uh, and so email is the best way to contact me. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's what it is. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I think um, I should say I record these. I can post them to YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna post it or, you know, in general, I won't post these. Um, so we'll just see how it goes, okay? All right, any last questions? No, nope. all right, well, I'm gonna end the meeting. Go to YouTube, look at those resources, start reading the chapters, do things in small blocks. It's easier that way.
Okay. Well, good luck, and I hope to get to know you, and I think things will go well. All right.